you know, it's been a while since I've done a vlog of a week in my life here in Salisbury, England. So I thought, let's do a little casual week in my life vlog. He wants an afternoon snack, don't you? Huh? You don't need an afternoon snack. Nope. You don't need one. Don't look at me like that. You know I'm weak. Since we've come to the UK, these have been his favorite treats. These dreamies. Yeah, you like these? Yeah. All right, fine. Fine, I'll give you some. Have you been a good boy though? Yes, you have? Okay. I started reading Daughters of Sparta. I'm only in the first chapter. I have been thinking for a while that I want to get into photography. So the camera store didn't have any disposable cameras. Also, it was more of a picture frame store. After that, I went to a grocery store and bought some ice lollies. Rocket, rainbow, cola, lemonade, and cherry aid flavored ice lollies. It tastes florally. What is this? Yeah, it tastes like a flower. I mean, it's good, but I don't know what this is. So I recently watched the new Amazon Prime series, Paper Girls, which is based off of the graphic novel with the same title. And this might be a bold statement, but I think I enjoy the show more than the graphic novel. So the graphic novel and the show is about a group of girls who deliver papers in the year 1988 and they somehow find themselves transported through time and end up in a time war. The themes and the overall story are the same but the details of the plot are very very different. So if you're planning on reading the graphic novel first before you start the TV show, be aware that they are basically two completely separate entities. Paper Girls is actually one of the first graphic novels that I ever read and um, so it's always had a very very special place in my heart and I can't recommend it enough. Brian K. Vaughn is an awesome writer and Cliff Chang who is the artist of the graphic novel, his work is absolutely phenomenal. Hi friends, good afternoon. After I finished reading Paper Girls, I decided to play Stray with my brother. He has a Twitch stream and uh, we played Stray. It's a video game where you're a little cat in a post-apocalyptic world. You get separated from your friends and you're trying to find your way home. It is super, super fun. It's a pretty short game. You can play it in six to seven hours. So if you're interested <laughs> in seeing my brother and I play the game, uh, I'll leave a link to his Twitch stream and you can go watch the playback of it. So I was thinking today that I was going to take you guys to my favorite cafe in Salisbury, but it is raining all day today, 100% chance. Doesn't look like it's gonna clear up anytime soon. It's also supposed to rain pretty heavily tomorrow as well. So I'm thinking the day after that, I'll take you guys to my favorite cafe. The cafe is an outdoor patio style cafe, so there's not a lot of places inside to sit. Um, also, this cafe, they have a resident dog and a resident cat, and they like to come out when the sun's out. So, yeah, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show you guys my favorite cafe. I love this place. Um, but yeah, we're gonna save that for a sunny day. So today is going to be a work day. But first, I'm gonna make some tea. Do not ask me how I make my tea because you're probably not gonna like it. I'm probably not making it correctly, so you're never gonna know how I make my tea. It's gonna be a mystery for forever. I'm almost done with my final vlog for Greece. I'll leave a link to it so you can go and check that out because this video will be published after that video. Um, so if you haven't seen it already, go and check that out. While I was editing my Grease vlogs, it really made me think about the future of this YouTube channel and what I should do with it because most of you are from England, but I'm not going to be here for forever. We don't have any way to stay here on a long-term basis. Jeff has put feelers out into the EU for jobs to see if there's any possibility that we could just stay somewhere else in Europe, but none of that stuff has been panning out, so it looks like we're probably going to be going back to the United States in October. Currently, we're thinking we don't wanna go back to California. California will always be there. It will always be our home in our hearts, but we're ready for something new. 
So the plan is we're gonna go to my parents' house in Florida for a couple of weeks and then start exploring different cities in the US and try and find a new place to live. So that is the direction of where my content is going to go come October. There's so many places in the US that we haven't seen and so I'm actually pretty excited about exploring new places in the United States that I've never been to. Most of the East Coast I've never seen. I've been to New York City, I've been to Boston. Yeah, and that's kind of it. That, actually, that is it. I haven't seen much of the Eastern seaboard. I know there's a lot of chaotic stuff that's been going on with the US. He has zoomies. But, but I hope I can shed some light on some of the awesome things about the United States, whether that's cultural snacks, or you know our beautiful nature that we have. I really wanna share some parts of my home with you guys because um, I, it's been lovely chatting with you guys about your lovely home. Once we get back to the US and once we establish our new home base, we're probably not going to be doing a lot of traveling for the first couple of months so we can replenish our funds. So I'm asking this question to you guys, what type of content would you be interested in? Morning, friends the weather is still pretty dreary today but I wanted to get out of the house and so I went to my second favorite cafe in Salisbury which is culture cafe I got myself a cappuccino a Greek yogurt bowl with some fruit in it and I started reading Jeanette McCurdy's memoir I'm glad my mom died her memoir is about her time as a child actress on Nickelodeon and the emotional abuse and complicated relationship that she has with her mother I need to start going through my stuff and figure out what things that I can get rid of because my brother is going to be going back to the States and he has agreed to take one of our large luggages so that way when we leave here in October we don't have as much stuff that we have to take with us. So yeah, I'm going through all my stuff and figuring out what things I can send early, what things I don't need in my daily life. This is my luggage of doom right here. I have a lot of clothes that I actually didn't end up wearing at all while we've been here because the weather this summer has been so hot. So this took me about an hour to do yesterday because I don't have that much stuff. I thought I had more stuff than this, but yeah, this is my pile of things I'm gonna try and pack. I spent the rest of the day finishing up Jeanette McCurdy's memoir. It was excellent, I couldn't put it down. 10 out of 10, um, amazing. I know it's sold out in physical form, but you can still buy it on Amazon and make sure you get the audible uh, narration that she does because her narrating her life story it's just it's it's so compelling highly recommend this book please read it it's worth all the hype that it's getting right now and then after that i read stray dogs which is a horror graphic novel about a group of dogs who are living on this farm and there's this new dog that shows up her name is sophie and she has these fragments of memory of her past life and so she is trying to figure out what happened how she ended up where she is right now with all these other dogs. This book is supposed to be Sons of the Lambs meets Lay in the Tramp. It's it's scary, but not enough, I think, for me. Um, and so I only give it a two and a half to three stars. The art is really, really cool. That's what I like the most about it. But yeah, the story was just sort of like, eh, it was okay. Like you kind of know the mystery super early on in the graphic novel. So it, it doesn't have like a lot of suspense to it, you know? Um, I was just sort of reading it because I like the art. So the sun is out today, which is exciting, which means we can go to my favorite cafe. So let's go. This place is called The Yard, and you have to enter through this alley. If you try and go to the front of the building, there's gonna be a sign that's gonna tell you to come here. So you enter in through here. Oh, got myself a latte, and then I get this orange and almond cake with clod cream. It's my favorite thing to get here. Keep back your 
if I don't know, so wake up if it don't show and I'm not chasing for you and I won't ever be the same. Three days later. Hi friends. It's been like three days since the last time I updated you guys with what I was doing. Um, and in those three days, I had my birthday, which was very low key. Uh, pretty much spent the entire day playing video games and reading. We went to dinner at Wagamama. I had a cider and that was it. Very chill. Oh, my camera's gonna fall. I have more exciting plans for my birthday in like a week or something. Uh, Jeff is going to take me to that ABBA concert that's in London. So I'm really excited about that. So for my actual day of my birthday, it was just very low key, which is honestly kind of what I wanted. <laughs> Within the last three days, I read another book. I read A Deal with the Elf King. I had never heard of this book before. I just saw it on Amazon Unlimited and I looked at the cover and I was like, that looks interesting. Looks like something I'd enjoy. Why is this leaning? We gotta fix this. What is happening? So the book is about how every 100 years in this small village, a human girl is taken by the Elf King to become his human queen. Um, this human queen, she possesses some sort of power, um, and so that's how she is selected. Um, this girl, she displays no powers. She is the town healer. Um, but somehow she ends up finding out that she does have powers and so she gets taken by the elf king to live in this magical world and basically her powers are somehow connected to this elf world um and the elf people they need her magical powers because without them like the world would die so that's sort of like her purpose as the human queen. So she's trying to find a way to break this cycle so there's no more need for human queens, but also find a way to go back home because she is her town's only healer. So she feels this obligation to go back home to take care of her people. So that's, that's basically what the whole book is about. Um, I consumed it, I read it all in a day and I loved it. And she has two other books that are in this world. It's not actually part of like a trilogy or anything. They're just standalone books that take place in the same universe. So I'm reading the second one that she wrote, which is called A Dance with the Fae Prince. And so far I'm liking it. I'm also reading The House with the Golden Door, which is the book that comes after The Wolf Den that I read when we were in Italy. Hi friends, this is Future Abby in the process of editing this vlog. The Italy vlogs, those are going to be coming after this video. So the next three or four vlogs, I haven't figured out how many vlogs it's gonna take <laughs> for all of my footage. I have a lot of footage to go through. Um, the next vlogs take place in the past. So yes, just FYI. Also, this book, The Wolf Den, it is about a group of girls who are in Pompeii and they live in a brothel and it's about the, the struggles and the complicated relationships that these women have um, with the men of Pompeii. So yeah, I'm in the process of reading that. I'm still reading Daughters of Sparta, which is about Helen of Troy and her sister. Um, and so the book is told in dual perspective. Helen and her sister, and I can't remember her sister's name. But today, we're leaving the house. We're going to London uh, because my brother is going back home. He's going back to the States. It's a chill day today. High of 72 degrees. I don't know what that is in Celsius, don't ask me. I'm gonna go and get some brunch, and then we're off to London.
Take my time, take as long as I can The taste of trying sweeter than a life of sin All it's gotta be yours ever been Is when you turn away your pride 